Christmas is so stressful for people, um, especially in the food in the food world. So here's something to chew on: a simple, stress-free appy that will wow your guests and help keep you sane this holiday season. We're also going to make some mulled wine because you know in England we do like our mulled wine. And Dan Hayes should know. After all, he is the. London chef, and he suggests you make mulled wine first so you can sip on it while you cook. Cheers. Cheers. We want to start by just having some of the flavor of brandy, okay. not necessarily the alcohol of it. Allow it to get hot, and then flambe. Ooh. So that's burning off, okay? We're removing the alcohol, but we're keeping the flavor. Then add some cinnamon, anise, some cloves, red wine, and a little more brandy. So now, brown sugar. Why brown sugar, not white sugar? Well, white sugar has no taste whatsoever. Yeah. Brown sugar has plenty of taste and smell. Oh, wow. It's wonderful, now, that, you know? Is that like a cane sugar? It's like just a demerara sugar. Then add some orange zest, squeeze in the juice from that orange, let it simmer until it's nice and warm, and then enjoy. And now you're gonna need some food to go with that holiday drink. So how about a crostini with a date chutney and some tasty cheese? Um, and you can see this baguette is sort of, you know, past its best, which is good. That's what we want. We're now gonna get a tray and lay them out on a tray. Drizzle some olive oil, sprinkle some Vancouver Island salt on, put it in the oven and bake till it's golden brown. And now, the chutney. So you begin with some rosemary, then you chop up an onion, put it in a pan and add some olive oil. Just enough oil to sort of um, lubricate, yes. I think. Um, and now some salt. We want to help that moisture to come out of the onion. So we start to put some salt in now. Then add some dates and red wine. That much red wine. A little splash of balsamic vinegar. Ah. And a small amount of sugar. The onions bring the sweetness anyway. Right. As does the vinegar as you reduce it. And we let that cook down very, very slowly. Simmer for about 45 minutes and you will get a beautiful fig chutney. Then simply spread it on to your crostini. They don't have to be warm. They're nice warm. They don't have to be warm. Yes. You can you can toast the bread ahead of time and in the morning and sit it, you know, and sit it out to, to, to cool down. You can make the chutney a week, two weeks before time. You can have the Stilton sitting out on the side and you can assemble it half an hour before your guests arrive then add some Stilton cheese. You can substitute this, of course, with any kind sure. of blue cheese, any kind of sharp cheese. This would be really lovely with uh, a, a Parmigiano. It'd be great with Manchego. Chop up some parsley and then drizzle some olive oil and voila. So every single guest is going to be happy with this. Um, as we talked about, you can do most things in advance. Serve this nice and warm, nice and crunchy, a nice hot glass of mulled wine, and every single person is happy. Mmm, especially you. You enjoy that? That is unbelievable. From the London Chef, I'm Karen Algisma for The Daily. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.